Hello, hello, good morning from the quarry. Uh, today I am going to be starting to install my solar panels. I have a total of four solar panels. I think they're 100 watts each. And uh, I'm going to install two of them today. You could always add on more. I think two is actually more than I need just for the yurt. Um, I'm going to probably put two up at the Airstream. For their, so each one of them has their own power supply system. So, in the spirit of reusing and salvaging, uh, let me show you what I got to put all the electronics on. I have this. This is uh, my friend Marcia's old temporary kitchen counter. She was throwing it away and she offered me a nice piece of plywood. It's sanded already. It was covered in plastic, but I'm going to take that off. And what I'm going to do, since I have a lot of leftover spray paint, I'm going to paint it. Just some crazy colors because it's going in a crazy yurt. Uh, there's the uh, solar panels. There are two of them in there. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. I just realized I have this on me. That's eh, stupid. Ooh, it's cold. So, I know spray paint doesn't work that well when it's cold, but we'll see what happens. I left some of the tape on. we do the outlines. This is probably boring to watch, huh? But you get the point. I'm just going to paint this. The paint's really crappy because it's really cold. The can's really cold to hold. Um, I should probably heat this up first. Maybe I could paint this upstairs. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go paint this upstairs, bring all the paints, and uh, maybe keep the cans in there. No. I'm going to try to do it now. You hear that noise? That is a woodpecker. Big, I forget what kind. Hopefully it'll fly. He's in that, that tree right up there. It's huge. I forget what kind of woodpecker it is. But it's a big pecker. It's a big woodpecker. Come on, put he fly away. Alright. Oh, there he is. See? I knew he would fly away when he stopped. That's a big woodpecker. All right, back to work. Ta-da! It's done. And there it is. Turn it into Vanna White. Yeah, I am uh, not a artist in this medium. That's just spray paint. Um, I don't know, that's a, a brake rotor for my Jeep. I have a spare one. I just painted the blue, the leftover blue from the uh, floor onto there. And then I sprayed gold in there, but the gold is kind of the same color as the wood, so you really can't see it. You can zoom in, maybe you can, but... Yeah, that's all that is. But anyway, that is going to be... A t uh, these... Uh, whoops. Uh, these are going to get attached there. I'm just laying them out to see which way I want to do it. This is my charge controller for my solar panels get plugged into here and then from here it goes out to my baterias and then I could either go from here this is any kind of uh, load going out so either for lights or an uh, inverter so I could go from there to there to my inverter I'll probably get a uh, upgrade the system uh, inverter to a better one because with these solar panels, I could probably use a bigger inverter. 
And this is the uh, monitoring station. This gets plugged into here. So this is all getting mounted onto there. And then this will be inside there. And then this will be hooked up in there. And then the solar panels will be somewhere out there. And I think that... Oh, look at that little... Chemtrail. That's weird. You just go in like a big circle. Normally the plane just says turn. You don't do circles. But anyway, um, so the panels go there. That is almost 45 degrees, so I might just be able to lay them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And behind us is south. So, as you can see the shadow, there you can't. There you go. It's about, I don't know what time it is. But I don't even think it's noon yet, because it's still towards the east. So the solar panels go there, run the wires nice and simple into the into the yurt, onto the board that those are gonna be attached on. Let's see how it comes out. I have too much fun doing this. There's my neighbors and there's the dog somewhere. I don't know. There's Johnny Cat. Johnny Cat! What's up Johnny Cat? What are you doing Johnny Cat? Alright, see what happens. Oh, there's Eddie. He gets so jealous when Johnny Cat's around. Where's Johnny Cat? Yeah, you know where Johnny Cat is, mister. Alright, be right back. Okay, and here is everything installed on the board. Oh wait, no, that's a cat just lounging like Jabba the Hutt. Johnny Cat! Johnny, what are you doing, mister? All right, so here is everything installed. Of course, I had to put my sticker on there. It's a little crooked, but whatever. So this is the board. This will go attached to the baterias. Um, this get attached. Every this is gonna be like a command center. I have ample amount of room to add a bunch of other things, other things on this. I put a fuse on there. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use this conventional kind of fuse, but. I'm going to figure out something. Probably a relay or a circuit, I mean. Alright. See what's next. Cat's still lounging. Okay, so here it is. Um, I didn't want to screw into the yurt, so I just had some string, tied it on there. Uh, this is where the batteries are. This is an old trunk that I found in the trash. The buckles on the other side, I did that because the hinge comes out. So if the hinge was there, it would uh, hit the frame. So I just did it that way. The two batteries are in there. I got some room from some other stuff. I don't know what I'm put. But that's the progress. I didn't hook it up yet. I'm going to work on the solar panels now. I think that art's kind of ugly. What do you think? Whatever. Look at that. What is that I see? It is a solar panel reflecting the sun. So I finally got it completed. Um, my little homemade brackets. It's about, I set this at 45 degrees. There's a little level on the other side. See? This is some old tool that I actually found in somewhere salvaged. There we go, that's better. Oop. It's a little off. Oh, that's not tight, that's why. So that's what's going on with that. Uh, I am done for the day. The sun is away, the cows, oh they're not there anymore. The ladies were out there but I guess they went to get water, food. So that's the end of the day here at the homestead. Their yurt's doing well, it's keeping nice and warm. And it will have solar by tomorrow. So let's see it working. 
first, I'm going to go have dinner with my friends. And look, there's trash. There's trash there. There's a dog. The reason there's trash there is because I was eating, and the cat was begging me to give him some scraps, so I let him lick the bowls. And there's a the dog. All right, everybody. See you later. Alright, so last part of the solar panel installation is I'm going to install and make all the wire connections. I'm doing it in here. I'm doing it inside of the earth today because it's pretty damn cold outside. Yeah, I had a selfie stick, okay? It was a present. Okay, so first you get the end of the wire. Pre-cut just the plastic out. Look how fast I am. Um, I actually cut it out before. And then you pull that piece out carefully, not to careful not to cut the metal. So I'm just putting it in there and not squeezing on this, the pliers, just holding it. See how it slides? And I'm just using that to hold the plastic and you hit the dog. Sorry, Eddie. And then you take, so I did the male section, that's why it's a male and female as a whole. See how that works? So you take the male section, and I now need the female section. So that's that. I think that's, yep. Oh, so first uh, you have to crimp this. So I have this special crimper. And what I found easiest is to hold it in there. It sets in like this. Sometimes you gotta just bend it a little bit. Ooh, another bit of jelly. So I hold it in there. Maybe even give it the first click. Oh yeah, see, and then it holds it in there nicely. Learning as a so. That piece, this goes into there, and it might have come to too small. Oh, it's funny. I stopped the video before just to uh, adjust something, but I didn't check this. Oh man, I could just you know what? Shh. Don't tell. One of them is missing. I think it'll go in there now. Nope. All right. So this one is actually. Look, I have extra. Open this small one. Let's try this again. So this goes in here. I like to bend that a little bit. This time I'm not going to crimp it. That was what the backwards. That was the problem. That goes in there. Okay, so that butts up right up to the end, to the edge there. Like that. See? Bloop. And then you crimp it. It's hard to do in video. Sorry if I'm breathing into the camera. There you go. And now it's crimped it. Then you take the female section. Hmm, that's interesting. So the male, inside of the male, let me show you. I think it's pretty cool. Inside of the male, remember the male goes into the female part. The male, inside of the male, the connectors, inside of the male, there's a female. And then inside of the male, I mean inside of the female connector that goes here, see it's the hole, inside of there, you get a male. So the male actually goes into 
the female. So I guess that's kind of like life. Behind every man, there's an important woman. The man just shelters it and protects it. But the woman part is the part that actually makes everything go. I don't know. I might be just a little crazy. But anyway, that's my philosophy. It'll be a dollar. So when you put these in, they say make sure they click. I heard a little click. Let's put a little bit more. Yeah, see how it locks in there. And then you just tighten this mamma jamma down. By the way, the stove is going. And it's hot as all. Papalapas. So there you go. So the whole spool of wire is now connected. One male, one female. I did that because um, I'm just going to cut it, cut the pieces. But I wanted to kind of... It's the first time doing this. Never did this before. Um, but it works. Except maybe it doesn't work. Well, howdy doody, neighbor. It does not work. Mm. Oh, no, it's in there now. Alright, it does work. Double check this. Anyway, I think it's working. Alright, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so, when I put this in last time, I didn't get the click. I heard a little click, but it wasn't a click and I didn't check it. So, before you tighten this, here, click. More importantly, pull on it. Make sure it doesn't separate. Because even without the click, this wouldn't even go in. And this wouldn't click. So, now you know you have a double, triple wibble connection. So, let me hook these up. And uh, the next scene should just be the solar panels making power. And there's Eddie Murphy. And their shoes. Can anyone tell what that is? Pull it out a little. A little more. Ooh, what's that? What that? That is one 100 watt Renogy solar panel installed. I've got electricity people coming from the sun. Uh, well. If there weren't any clouds there, I would be getting energy from the sun. I am getting some energy. I hooked up the the cables, the positive and the negatives. And I let's just walk in. Doo, 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 doo. Hey, look at that. Is that an outhouse? Yes it is. So here, oops, I just stepped on something. Here is the charge controller. It's a MPPT made by, I don't know what that says, EP Solar. Anyway, um, these are the good ones they say to get. They, they don't make buzzing noises and they're a little more fluid in their um, power distributing. Does that make sense? Anyway, so. These two wires are from where the wires coming in from the solar panel. Positive, I marked it with orange tape. When look, it matches that. And negative, solar panel. And then I have the wires going to the battery to charge. Oh, and a fly just came in here. I left the door open. And that's going to the battery bank. These are tied in series, parallel. And this is causing me to get electricity. So now I could, let me just do it right now, hook up my inverter. Now that's on. The good thing about the Cobra inverters are that they don't, the fan doesn't kick on unless it actually needs to. So it's more efficient and quieter. So that's it, that's my solar system. This is my first time doing solar, so don't quote me on anything. Do your own research on what you need to do. I got the hiccups. Oh, there's that fly. And uh, <laughs> and go out and uh, get off the grid. Cut your umbilical cord from the energy company. 
All right, everybody, this is who? Who is it? Yeah. All right, enjoy. Let me go use some electricity. Oh, and please subscribe, tell your friends, and all that other stuff. Yeah. Dennis Allen, DennisAllen.com. Dennis Allen out. Peace out, Cub Scout. Yeah. That's kind of corny, right? Yeah.